Hi, if you want the longer version of this video, go to the Patreon. I'm making this one free. So if you go to patreon.com slash TMSG, you'll see what I mean when I do much longer form videos on Patreon. So this is the short, punchy version. If you're on an anti-CD20 B-cell depletor for MS, which is Ocrevus or Cosimta or Brown-V, here are the real world numbers on serious infection risk. And the one blood test that reduces the guessing. Hi, GG. You may hear the risk is minimal. Don't worry. The average risk is usually low, but a smaller group becomes higher risk when antibody levels drift down. I've had MS for 34 years. This is tracking information, not fear, it's science. So anti CD20s deplete CD20 B cells. That's why they work. But over time, some people develop low immunoglobulins, especially IgG, which help you fight infections. So this was using two data sets. In Iran, where they do a lot of MS treatment, 254 people on rituximab or ocrelizumab followed for about 44 months. Around 19% developed IgG below 700. The serious infections were about 7% and lower IgG by year one was the strongest warning sign. So there's another one, a pooled Ocaluzumab trials with 13 trials, 61,555 people with a median of 3.7 years and the serious infections were about 6.8%. So the risk cluster with walking disability, so if your EDSS is greater than six, other health conditions and your recent relapse activity. So the takeaway is not no risk, it's not panic, it's know your baseline and watch the trend. So ask, do you check quantitative immunoglobulins, especially IgG, before and during treatment? And what number would make you recheck, pause, or change the plan? If you're getting recurrent chest infections, pneumonia, or recurrent UTIs, ask for your IgG trend, not just reassurance. Remember, this isn't medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I just work in research and I know a lot of people in the field. If you want to submit your questions for the next live question and answer, then join the Patreon. The link's in the bio. But check out the Patreon. The long version of this will be there. So it's patreon.com slash TMSG. All right. Thanks a lot.